Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, episode 49. This is the subsistence variant of Occupation Forces. Now, if you remember, when we originally did this, we basically got like C4 or uh, electromagnetic net mine and intercepted the convoy before it reached the city in order to complete the mission as fast as possible. Now, because this is the subsistence variant, you basically spawn with nothing. Literally no armor, no neutralizing pistol, no kind of C4 or explosives or any tools or items. You spawn with just yourself and everything has to be picked up. Now, what we can do if we wanted to is take out an enemy base, get a killer bee, use that killer bee against some of the tanks that are going to be rolling in and then taking them out that way. We're going to be doing this by literally like brute force. We're going to be intercepting the convoy on foot. We're going to be getting spotted by the tanks, and as we get spotted by the tanks, we're going to get so close that they won't be able to shoot us because we'll be kind of under them. And then we're just going to airlift them out using the cargo extraction, and we're going to do that to all three of the parts of the convoy, including the tank at the front, the tank at the back, and the middle convoy, the truck, which is kind of our main target. And then as soon as we do that, we'll extract the mission. Again, we're doing this by, like, brute force, uh, so you're going to get shot. If you get shot, like, three or four times, you'll probably get killed. If you get shot one or two times, you won't get killed, so you'll be able to do it that way. Now, as soon as you're spotted, the tanks will stop, but they only stop for about five seconds. So make sure you're fast between when you're spotted to when you extract them, because if they notice you and then they keep driving, they actually won't stop until they reach the village, and there's basically no way you can actually follow the tank all the way to the village without it kind of noticing you and killing you. So make sure that as soon as you're spotted, you run up to the tank and extract it in a very, very fast like pace. Also, call in your chopper ahead of time. Uh, the chopper will help because if the tanks do kind of keep going, they'll stop to shoot your chopper, which will help you be able to extract them while they're distracted. Or uh, it'll also help you extract the mission faster so you don't have to wait for the chopper. As you see, I totally intercepted the convoy right here. I'm going to get spotted. As soon as I'm spotted, I run up directly in front of it and airlift it out. Then I run directly forward into the truck, airlift it out. And then I do the same thing to the last tank. The last tank is the only tank that's probably going to hit you. Make sure it only hits you one or two times. If it hits you three or four, you probably will get killed. But feel free to just restart the checkpoint and you should be able to get an S rank even if you have to restart the checkpoint. As soon as you airlift both of the, all three of them out rather, just go to the extraction, extract out of the mission zone, mission over. Easy, easy S rank. Thank you guys for watching. The last mission of the game, Extreme Salanthropus, is next. I have a killer guide for you guys and I'll see you there. Peace. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best boss.